another quick one today, just on, well, what we call critical points. Now, we've already seen critical points, actually, because stationary points are a, a type of critical point. So I guess critical points are some key points that we look at when we're drawing graphs. And so what they basically are is it's either when the derivative equals zero, so that's our stationary points, or it's when it's undefined. Now, if you think about it, when it's undefined, oh, let's say, let's say it again. Straight line. straight line would certainly satisfy it. Yes. A straight line, it would only have one critical point. Well, no, it'd have an infinite number of critical points, actually, wouldn't it? Because it doesn't matter where you go on that vertical line, the derivative would be undefined. If you were to draw a tangent to the curve, it would have a vertical tangent rather than a, a horizontal tangent. So stationary points, horizontal tangent, or when the curve's undefined, which would give you a vertical tangent, or, well, actually, hyperbola, there's an interesting question. Does the hyperbola have a vertical tangent anywhere? Have a, have a look at it over there. Would it ever have a vertical tangent? No. But it, it would have a, an x value where the derivative is undefined. And that would be at x equals zero. But it's not a critical point because that point doesn't exist on the curve. It's not in the domain. Okay. So, all right, let's, let's have a look. There's a, uh, well, a random graph. It's probably a cubic. It's got a couple of stationary points there. So, yes, we have a critical point. That one we call a maximum turning point. Then there's one down the bottom there we'd call a, a minimum turning point. Okay. Other types. There's an interesting one. It's a cubic, which I've, I've moved a little bit. Now, there is a critical point there. It's got a horizontal tangent, but it's not a turning point. It's what we call a point of inflection. Inflection is sort of like the opposite of reflection. Reflection, if you think of it this way, reflection is when it bounces back to you. And so a turning point is like a point of reflection because it, it comes down, bounces, comes back up. Inflection is where it bounces the other way. And so you get that twisting sort of shape like the, uh, the cubic. The tan curve has one as well. If you think of the tan curve, it inflects. That one's not a horizontal point of inflection because at the point of inflection in the tan curve, it actually is coming through at 45 degrees. But it's still a point of inflection. But the critical point one is, and that's meant to be horizontal, excuse my dodgy picture, it's meant to be like our standard cubic there, where the tangent would be horizontal at that point. Okay. I could have a parabola on its side. Now, in this case, I'd have a vertical tangent at the uh, turning point. And so the derivative would be undefined at that point. We could get some unusual shapes, something like that. It's what it's called a cusp. Now, the derivative is undefined at this point because depending on which side you're looking at, uh, one side it's going towards a, a decreasing curve, but on the other side it's going towards an increasing curve. So the limit is different either side. So at that V point, if you like, that the cusp, uh, the, it's not, well, it is continuous, sorry, it's not smooth continuous. Remember that term we said? In order for it to be differentiable, it had to be smooth continuous. It's still a minimum point, mind you. Okay, so that's it. 10C 